Vermin is Troids for Linux administrators, which will help them to create users, delete, update, and manage the database files, as well as local system files. How to install it? Let's find out. For installation, I have created one Ubuntu server. First, I'll make sure that internet is working. Doing thing. Yeah, I get a reply from internet. So I'll just update and upgrade. Any package updation is available for my Ubuntu server. After updation, we can check that there is no Apache services or MySQL services is installed as it is a fresh server. PS H minus A crap Apache. No crap my SQL. No, there is no server services installed. So first we are going to install services using task cell. Here I'm going to choose LAMP server. Click OK. In an installation, I just need to set MySQL password. MySQL root password. Root password. Confirm root password. All services of MySQL and Apache has installed on my Ubuntu server. Now I can verify the services MySQL is running on my Ubuntu server as well as Apache services is also running. Now to verify this, I'll just copy the IP address of my Ubuntu server, open browser. Paste the IP address. Here, I can see Apache 2 default web page is loaded. To verify PHP version, I can type PHP space minus V. I can see that it is a PHP version 7.0 installed on my Ubuntu 16.04. So the web file is on bar www.html cd space slash bar slash www slash html ls here I can see that index page which has been loaded. So I'll create one PHP file here vi sudo space vr space php dot php. Start PHP pages. Echo the PHP version on the page. PHP version. Close the command. Close the page. Right click. Now just restart the Apache server services. sudo apache2 ctl restart. Oops. CTL restart. After restart station, after restart, I can verify the services from IP. The server is running, the page is created, PHP. No uh, file was found on this server. Okay, PHP slash PHP. No URL was found. So what we can do, we'll just rename that PHP page with index PHP by running command mv sudo mv 
index.html index back then php dot index dot php now if i restart on a basic pages here i can see it's starting so for web main we required basically 7.1 PHP 7.1 should be installed on system. For that, we require the PHP 7.1 is not available default. So what we can do, I'll just change the font for bigger font size to view it clearly. Login. sudo space apt show php space minus a password sudo space to install php 7 we require to install from repository So we need to install repository using apt install. First we need to install python software module to work with the PPA archives python software properties. Then software properties common then repository pp archive of on dredge php here we can install the latest php 7.1 using that repository after installing repository all we need to do just update the server and run a command to install php sudo apt get install php 7.1 yes after installation of 7.1 we can verify using the command php we can see the ini loaded using php space I, ini grep loaded here we can see that it's the php ini version has been loaded from 7.1 we need to install some dependencies to work php 7.4 one properly with PLI and common PHP platform. After installation, we can verify PHP space minus V. Here we can see now the Ubuntu server is running using PHP 7.1. Now we can restart the app. We can restart Apache server. and verify that it has been updated with the new 7.1 refresh no because we have not unload the 7.0 module and loaded the 7.1 module so what we can do sudo a2 de mod tis mod disable module php 7.0 and need to enable 7.1 the a2 en mod 7 php 7.1 
now just we need now we need to restart the server services apache server services restart and let's find let's see now you can see our apache is running latest php 7.1 For web admin install, web min installation, all we just need to go on uh, Google search web min. On webmin.com, you can install. The project is currently offline. No issue. We can install using source forge. Click on files. Web min. Latest 8.70 as it is a Debian, we need to install Debian package. Now connect our server for SSH file transfer. Username, password, port number 22. Quick connect. okay in home directory i'll just upload the webmin file which we downloaded from internet upload once it's uploaded on our home directory webmin we can see the package is available so for install we just give full write csmod777 webmin.deb now the file is executable to install we can use command dp k g space minus i space webmin all dot deb sudo Fetching, we find some error processing because of some dependency. So, what we'll do, we can install the dependency manually. Let's try that in dependency. Stop it. No, it's giving error showing that if it is space minus f, then install to correct those issues. So sudo apt get install space minus f no space minus f still there is an issue cause we have mentioned that the package name removed it yes all dependency also installed forcefully setting up webmin 8 point sorry 1.870 it's installed now we can log on login https port 10000 let's copy it and verify i'll rather than accessing or using hosting i can access using the ip of that system https add it to favorites bookmarks so for further accessibility will be easy advanced and exception Confirm security. Same login and username what we use for SSH access. Done. Here I can monitor all system information, dashboard, CPU usage, processes running on system, processor information. There are some package updates. 
so we can update the packages now without taking command U. line select all update selected package allow notification return to package list in system we can change the password of users in webmin we can configure backup local ftp backup of the server we can create users from here we can up enable modules mm, i don't like this theme so let's see we can change the theme here mm, install theme okay so we can uh, update theme by providing the file wbt google search web name bootstrap theme this is my favorite theme to use with web name download the beta file Save. download it now on web main here you can upload using SSFT, SFTP and select here or now it's downloaded on my local machine so I can select from here install theme following theme has successfully installed listen return to theme list here i can select the theme and click on change theme change successfully return to webmin configuration here i can see the new theme is already applied to go on back to go back on normal page dashboard i just remove that here we can see we are now on dashboard with latest bootstrap theme. That's it. Let me know in comment if you want to get in-depth knowledge about webmail. Thank you.